These Rough Country bumper end caps are for those of you that have a 2007 to 2018 JK or JL and are looking for a way to customize that factory plastic front bumper that comes on your Jeep. If you don't have a need or a want for a bigger, bulkier, much more expensive aftermarket front bumper, you can go ahead and give your front bumper a custom look for a lot less money and do it very, very easily. This is going to be a two out of three wrenches, only two because you are doing some cutting, but it's just through the plastic part of your factory bumper. A lot of you guys are gonna be able to get this done in your driveway in about a little less than two hours, but we'll talk a little bit more through the installation in just a second here. So this is going to be a piece that comes in at right around $100, whereas even the cheapest front bumper is going to be significantly more than that. So if you really like that custom look, if you like that stubby look, but again, you don't have a need for uh, D-rings, winch mounts, additional lighting, hoops, all that other stuff, you just want to shorten that factory front bumper, this is going to be a great choice. This is a very simple kit. You're going to get two metal end caps. You're going to get some instructions on exactly where to mark and cut your factory front bumper and you'll have some plastic push pins that will allow you to attach these onto your bumper once you shorten it. So all you have to do is make those cuts and install these. These are going to be metal pieces. They come with a black powder coat finish on them. So they're going to be a piece that looks pretty good. Uh, they're going to hold up pretty well. You're not going to have to worry about them rusting because of the coating that you get on these. But these aren't really a structural piece so you're not looking for a ton of strength from these. These are just going to be there to finish off the otherwise unfinished look of a cut front bumper. I mentioned before that these bumper caps come in at $100. That is going to be much less than even the least functional aftermarket front bumper that you can get. So if you just want to shorten that front bumper but give it a nice finished look, I think these are very appropriately priced for what you get. Now we'll have a member of the install team show you how you get these installed on your Jeep. First thing we're going to do is measure over three and a half inches from this line in the bumper. Take a Sharpie, let the tape measure sit flat, and mark three and a half inches. Once you've got your three and a half inch marks made, we're gonna run a piece of tape to make a straight edge. Uh, next, we're going to take a sawzall and cut along this edge right here to remove the bumper. Be sure to have a metal cutting blade in your sawzall because there is a metal bracket behind the bumper and we're going to be making our cut to the right of the two bolts of the metal portion of the bumper. Now we're ready to cut the bumper corners off with our sawzall. Next, I'm gonna use an angle grinder to clean up all the cut edges. All right, we can test fit our corner now. 
And once you think it looks good and it's lined up, we can take a quarter inch drill and drill bit and drill these five holes out and stick the plastic push pins in. I'm gonna put two of the top push pins in to hold this in place so I can finish drilling the other three holes. And then we can finish drilling our other holes. And we got one more underneath. All right, we're gonna do the same thing for the other side. We're gonna measure over three and a half inches from the inside of the bumper lip. And we're gonna make our marks. All right, now we're gonna use tape to outline our marks. Now we can test fit our bumper cap. All right, and once you're satisfied with your fit, you can start drilling your holes. Once you've got all your push pins in, your installation is complete. So if you're not in the market for an aftermarket front bumper, but you do want to do a little bit of custom work to the factory front bumper on your Jeep, I would definitely recommend taking a look at this option from Rough Country, and you can find it right here at ExtremeTerrain.com.